All right, everybody, this is mailbag number three. I'm going to be tackling this one. Uh, before I get started, I do have some more body armor here. Not sponsored yet. Maybe working on it. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, we've also got, uh, these are our, I'm going to show these off a little bit. These are our uh, Nationals jerseys that we got and that we're going to use for Nationals and State and whatever else. Let's see if I can turn around and show you the everything with that, you know. I don't have a whole lot of space here, but this is, this is kind of what's on the back and... Uh, Got her name, hashtag Hello Kitty, of course. <laughs> but uh, I've got these from Apparel EFX. Uh, they did a great job. I really, really enjoy the jerseys. This is my first Apparel EFX jersey. Probably won't be my last. Um, I've had a lot of uh, Logo Infusion jerseys in the past. I also like Logo Infusion. Uh, the difference here is that this material is a little bit stretchier and it's not quite as thick. The Logo Infusion material isn't heavy but it's a little bit thicker and it doesn't really it doesn't have any elasticity to it really so there it's kind of they fit really well once you get them on but getting them on and getting them off are a little tough but i um we'll see what happens i we bowled in these once and i really like them barely it's kind of like a bowling on a golf jersey or golf shirt or something you can barely tell it's there so i'm very happy with the design and everything and they worked with us really well and um got a pr pretty good deal on them too so Happy, happy with the apparel EFX stuff so far. So, all right, getting into the mailbag, we got a couple questions here from YouTube subscriber George Guinea. He asks, what's the difference between pin up and pin down? The easy way to put it is that generally for your average uh, normal positive access points, for lack of a better word, I'd say that a, a more typical positive access point is something like four and a half to five and a quarter over and like a quarter to an inch up is kind of where it puts your put your track in kind of a typical place it's kind of right you know off the fingers and thumb it's normally a little bit further from the fingers than the thumb but um, it depends on depends on how you throw the ball again but for unless you have some kind of wild different uh, track where you really spin the ball or you full roll it or it's uh, something that's a little bit more unusual the layout based on your positive access point is always going to dominate everything but just kind of for general normal uh, rule of thumb type deals pin up gets the ball a little bit further down the lane and it's usually a little bit more responsive on the back end so it's a little bit more of a, a not necessarily skid flippy but it's more of a long and strong layout Pin down is just smoother reaction. I, a lot of people think it's both earlier and smoother when it's really just smoother. Now, a lot of people that uh, have a higher rev rate or like control on the back end tend to pick more pin down layouts, which wouldn't make sense if the if pin down was both earlier and smoother. It's more for controlling that move on the back end. If it was earlier and you've got guys with a high rev rate, well that would make the ball both move earlier and be smoother on the back end, which is kind of counterproductive seeing as how if you want it to be smoother, more controllable, an earlier move would force you left, but then all of a sudden you've got both earlier moves forcing you left and then you've got, you know, kind of laziness on the back end which don't really go well together or don't produce uh, very good ball reactions. So, but just to keep it simple here, uh, the difference, like I said earlier, pin up's a little bit longer and stronger, and pin down is a little bit smoother on the back end for some more control. Now, naturally, ball selection is going to dominate dominate layout by a whole bunch. Layout matters more the stronger the ball is and the stronger the core is. Doesn't matter near as much the further kind of weaker you get down in, because obviously, if you don't have that strong of a core. Uh, the layout is designed to take advantage of the core dynamics and to kind of change them a little bit to produce the reaction differences. And if you don't have that strong of a core, then a layout isn't going to have nearly as much influence as it does in stronger equipment. All right, so the next question here is from YouTube subscriber Connie Millholland. She asks, when should you move left and when should you change balls? There's a lot of variables there, but there's a couple there's kind of a really easy way to to boil it down uh, because the what bulge to start with what do you have as options to move to are you good at moving left do you prefer staying a little bit further right i've talked to connie a couple times and uh, she's a straighter player she's more of a down and in type player so moving left is probably not in her best interest most of the time 
But uh, to me, it's it's a it's a transition thing. If you have transition further down the lane and the ball's clearing the heads okay, and it's just uh, being a little too strong in the mid lane, or it's it's going a little bit too fast on the back end, that's when I think you can probably just ball down and stay in the same zone. Because if you don't have if you don't have that kind of consistent friction, that's all that's in the the track all the way down the lane. Especially on a house shot, you're just going to move into more oil, and you're going to you're going to make yourself dependent on kind of bumping that track and get it, hitting the track at the right spot at the right length down the lane. Can make it a little bit harder on you than if you just ball down to something that's a little bit less aggressive and kind of stay on top of that burn that you've created. Now, when you should move left is if you have early hook, where if the heads are starting to go and the ball hits the lane and inside 15, 20 feet, it's already starting to move. Balling down is not going to fix that. Balling down is not going to help. It's still it's not going to move as much, but you're still going to give yourself angle issues. So in my opinion, it's kind of a it's a burn distance thing. If you have hook, if you have too much hook in the heads or in the early part of the lane, then you should move left. If it's later and further down the lane, then you should probably switch balls. Depends on again if you like moving left, don't like moving left. But uh, generally speaking, if it's in the heads, move left. If it's further down the lane, then that's when you can change balls. That's been mailbag number three. Thanks for the questions. Uh, keep shooting them to me, and we'll keep doing this. Thanks for watching.